Hello, my name is Rickard, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you a cool trick on how to replace a background and color match it to your subject. So if you want to follow along with this tutorial, in the description of this video, you can download the two asset files that I use in the tutorial. So go ahead and download those, and then let's get started. OK, so we're going to go to File, Open and we're going to open sample 05 and this is a cool trick that I kind of devised um, and I've tried it out now and it really works well so I want to show it to you and that is how you can add a background and color match it to an existing image so as you can see this image has a strong kind of purpley magenta cast to it and what I want to do is I want to put a sky back here and then I want to color match the sky to match the color grade that's on her so first thing we have to do is cut her out of the background and to do that I'm going to go to the quick selection tool and click on select subject and that's going to do most of the work for us I'm then going to go into select and mask go on the refine edge and I can use the same shortcuts here as I do for my brushes to make it larger or smaller so left bracket right bracket and then option and control and then slide left and right so with that I'm just gonna paint the edge here so that I have all her hair in the selection I also want to hit these few spots that the selection didn't get there so there and here here and then go in my add selection and just add the white stripes of our trainers here and then we can add a smart radius of three pixels and let's hit OK and then I'm going to make a copy of this layer and add a mask to the copy one thing I also like to do is just click hold the option and click on your mask and you can see mistakes or things that you need to clean up like we can see there so I can do this with a brush and with black as my foreground color just paint those areas out And here I can use my lasso tool. Just go and just clean this up a bit. Uh, to fill with black, I'm going to do Option Delete, and then I can invert my selection here and just go with a bright, a white brush and just paint in here those areas. Do the same here. Command D deselects and I'm just hitting X to switch between black and white as I clean up this mask. So that looks pretty good and hold option click here again. Okay so next I'm going to pull in my sky and I have it here it's called Cloud Skies 49. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and move to right about there. Let's hit OK. All right, so here you can see the problem right away. She has this purple cast on her and the cloud, the background cloud is quite neutral. So what I wanna do is I wanna take the color correction that's on her and apply it to the cloud. So I looked at various ways to do this manually and so forth, but I found a way that kind of tricks the system. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a curves layer on the top here I'm going to group this using this button here so it just applies to this layer and then select the black eyedropper here. Now I'm going to go to the darkest part of this image which is right about here so in theory that should be black. Click on that and it's going to color correct the image to make that the black point and as you can see she now integrates nicely with the background but what I want to do is I want to inverse this so rather than correcting her I want to correct the background. And the beauty of this is I can actually look at this curve here. So if I go to red and just select this, oops, I don't want to move it. I just want to select it and you can see the input there is 45. So just take note of these numbers. So red is 45, 
Oops. And green down here. Oops, don't want to move it. Is eight. And blue is 39. Okay, so red, 45, 8, and 39. So remember those numbers. You can note them down. Now what I can do is turn that off and go select my cloud and then add a curves here. And what I'm going to do is go to the red, select the bottom here, and then move that up and match the numbers. So here it's 45. The green is 8 and blue is 39. So now we've taken this color cast that's on her and applied it to the background and right away you can see these now beautifully integrate together. They have exactly that same color cast on both her and the sky background and this will work for any background that's neutral that you put into an image that has a color cast on it. Now the one other thing is that this has this kind of halo effect around it. I'm going to show you a nice way to fix that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image, hold down Option. We can throw away this by the way, we don't need that anymore. So the only reason we made that curve layer was to figure out what this curve layer should be. So now I'm going to take this layer, hold down Option and drag it down to under my curve here. And I'm going to take this layer and put it on Multiply. And then what I'm going to do is hold down command, click on this so that I'm selecting this selection, go up to select, modify, and feather, and then add a five pixel feather to it, and then invert my selection. Make sure my foreground color is black. Make sure I have on this multiply layer, I have my mask selected and then do Option Delete. Whoops, actually I want to do it on this one. So Option Delete. And what that does is it kind of eats away at that edge. So now that whole halo effect that was on there before, and if I delete, or if I uh, backspace, hang on. If I go to my history, and we go to here, there. Okay, so there you can see the before and after. And you can see it just with one click there gets rid of that halo effect all around her. And because this is underneath our black point corrector here, that multiply is not turning darker. So you get this really nice effect where she looks like she's on this new background and we've color corrected and color graded that background to match her. The last thing I would do with this image is change her sunglass reflection to match. What I can do is use my path here, just make a circular path and I can move that around and also right mouse click and transform the path, which I can do here, free transform path, just shape that up so that it's the size there. And then hold down Option, drag this to the other glass here. Just move that in place. Select both of these, right mouse click and go Make Selection. I'm going to add a layer at the very top. Just fill that with a color. It really doesn't matter which color because now what we're going to do is we're going to take the cloud layer and the cloud curve layer. So hold down command so that you select both of those. Hold down option, drag both of these up here. And I'm going to just merge these. So command E. So I have this as a color corrected version. And then hold down option, click between these two layers. And now what I can do is take my clouds and just move that around. So we get kind of a nice spot, maybe right there. And we can take the opacity on this down just a bit. So just so that we can see a little bit before there. That cloud kind of goes <laughs> into our clouds. I don't want that. Let me move this just a little bit so we don't have that effect going on. We can always use our arrow keys here to move it. Maybe something like that. 
So there you go. That's how you can replace a background and color match it to your foreground. So there you have it. That's a cool trick on how you can look at a curve by neutralizing one image, look at that curve and then reverse engineer it and apply it to another image. In this case, we did it to the background, but there's no reason you can't use this trick to kind of reverse engineer a color grade and apply it to a whole nother image. So test it out, see what uh, you can do with it. Leave a comment if you discover some other tricks on how to use this little method. Otherwise, please leave a like, share this video, uh, subscribe to my channel. I do put out a new video every week and I will see you next week. In the meantime, here are some other videos to check out. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.